Okay guys, this is Gun Times. My name is Josh. Welcome back. Gun Times, we tell the history of the gun one trigger pull at a time. And today we are talking about the Walther P38, which was a standard issued sidearm for the German Army in World War II and a few others after that. So this one is a World War II uh, variant of that pistol and it was made by Walther. So Walther made them, Mauser made them, and I believe Spreerwerk built them as well. But this one is a Mauser, or uh, is a Walther. It does still have all the Nazi Waffen amps intact. So <clears throat> these days you got to point out though that uh, at gun times here we do not condone you know the Nazi party and everything that went on. We are strictly telling the history of the gun and this is one of those so there again you can't be too careful these days everybody gets offended by everything so how do I know that it is one of the World War II ones well interestingly enough in World War II I don't know if this is going to pick up on the camera or not you see the AC mark up there that was the code for Walther they quit stamping them Walther and they all had their own code. So it's AC 43, which means this one was AC built in 1943. And then on the flip side here, guys, and I don't know if the camera is really gonna pick those up too well, but you see you still have all of the Waffen amps intact. So <clears throat> that being said, this was one that I had picked up at General Coin and Gun Exchange. The, uh, he had quite the story with this thing. So he said a gentleman brought it in and it was, it was still wrapped in Cosmoline paper, which, you know, I mean, stories being <laughs> what they are, you know, everybody has a story like that. But long, long and short of it, I bought this from them. I think I paid 800 bucks for it. And as you can see, you know, the finish on it is spectacular. It has not been refinished. Uh, I tore it all apart and uh, lo and behold, underneath there and everything, it was still just caked in Cosmoline under there. That jelly stuff, you know, that rust protectant. So, uh, yeah, I am pretty pleased with this firearm. I am glad I got my hands on it. I kind of always wanted one and now I have one. So, this pistol came about, the uh, German army was looking to replace its Walther POA, or the, excuse me, the Luger POA rather, which was had very complex parts to it. It wasn't very cost effective to manufacture and it was prone to failure. So it was kind of finicky. Hence the P38, which was a lot cheaper for them to manufacture and there are a couple things about this firearm. So this is the first locking breech handgun that features a single action, double action trigger. So what do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to do some shooting anyways. So bear with me, I'm gonna load this up and we're gonna do some shooting with it. So it did come with one original, uh, the stamped, um, magazine and then I bought two other ones from I believe it was Pro Mag and uh, they're they're okay they function and everything but they do not like that eighth round so that being said just gonna load this thing up and it does have it loads through the bot is a single stack eight round nine millimeter magazine and it has the heel catch there so that they were rather fond of in Europe so I've got it clipped in there and then just going to load it up. Now, you can see when I engage the safety, it releases that hammer. It does have the hammer release. So, when you carry it that way, you're going to have to, your first trigger pull is going to be double action. So, that being said, guys, I'm just gonna step back here a little bit, pardon me, and we're gonna do some shooting with it. So, we gotta turn the safety back on, well first, put my earplugs in <laughs> usually makes a bit of a difference as far as being able to hear the next day and I've got my target I'm at 15 yards roughly here 
and let's just see how this thing does. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I do all right. So, okay, can you guys still see me there? Hopefully you can. All right. That's eight. Okay. All right, guys. So as you saw, that first one was double action, and then the rest were single because the hammer was all the way back. So this firearm served Germany through the end of World War II, and then <clears throat> the Germans, they did not make any more of them until, I believe, 1957, and then I believe that variant was called the P1, the P38 P1, I think is what it was called, which was nine mil, and it's easily distinguishable because it does not have, rather, it does not have the Nazi stamps on there, and it has the black plastic grip rather than the brown Bakelite. So that being said, guys, I'm just gonna load this thing back up, and we're gonna shoot some more. How does that sound? Enough talking. Let's just shoot. Gonna try to keep it a short review today. I've got another gun to review, and then I gotta get home and get ready for uh, get ready for work tomorrow. So, okay, another magazine. Okay, so now, all right. Okay, I'm gonna try for the head area of that target. Let's just see how I do. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see me. And that is eight. Okay. All right. Well, I gotta say, guys, <laughs> so far, this is a lot of fun. Now this one is the original mag that came with it. And as you can see, and I, eh, hopefully it shows up there, guys. I'm not really sure if it's going to. You can see the Waffen Amped stamp on there. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna run this one last magazine through it. Again, this pistol I purchased from General Coin and Gun Exchange. They do a lot for us as far as giving us guns to shoot and things like that. Now, this one is part of my uh, personal collection. This is not available for sale. I just bought it, was happier than hell with it. So, kind of wanted to show it off a little bit. But uh, it's a prime example of the guns that you can find there for sale. So, okay, all right. Last mag, folks. All right, let's see here. And that is eight. All right, guys, so again, <clears throat> this is gun times. This has been the Walther P-38, which was a staple of the German army in World War II. And uh, <laughs> yeah, happy as hell to have it. Uh, again, I purchased this at General Coin and Gun Exchange. Thanks for watching, catch us next time. And guys, don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends about all of us, and uh, tell them to subscribe too. We don't care, we like it when you share. So, all right, thanks for watching guys, catch you next time.